Hey, folks, Andrew here, Popcorn and Whiskey. All right, time to weigh in on the CM Punk ordeal, if you will. Now, I know a lot of people are talking about this, and I said, you know what? I'm going to do a video on this as well. Why not? I have an opinion like everybody else. All right, to be transparent, I am a CM Punk fan. That's right. I have been for a long time. Now, I did not follow him in Ring of Honor. I just followed him when he got to the WWE at the time. And up until up through the summer of punk, which I loved, and uh, I do believe that was 2011, 2012 ish, and his um, getting screwed by not being at WrestleMania main event uh, when he was white hot. I mean, one of the hottest wrestlers on the planet. And um, then when he left, I was in full support of, okay, he's leaving, and it's a good reason why. And listen to the podcast with him and, uh, and uh, uh, Cole Cabana listened to it several times, which now I don't, I don't even think you can find that anymore. And I think um, without getting into a lot of controversy, him and Cole Cabana, let's just say they're not going to be exchanging Christmas cards. We'll leave it at that. Now, on to what has happened recently. If you didn't know, spoiler alert, if you haven't figured out by now, CM Punk is back in the WWE. That's right. I love it. I like the fact that he came back. And my reasons of why I think he came back is, one, ain't about the money. He is financially set. He is good to go financially. I can't, I can't imagine him not being good to go financially, put it that way. Two, it's not about Vendetta. He's out to get Vince or Triple H. I don't believe that for a second. Okay? I think it's because he wants his legacy, so to speak, to be, all right, I want to be a main event dude at WrestleMania. That's simple as that. And I cannot believe that the contract he signed has anything else besides that. Now, if WrestleMania is still a two-day event, which I'm pretty sure it will be, I don't know if he'll main event on the Saturday or the Sunday, but I think it's a stipulation in there that he's got to be main event in WrestleMania. I don't know why else he would come back to the WWE. Again, not about the money. Business-wise, yeah, uh, I, I get it. He's a businessman. He's also a fan of the wrestling business. Now, whether it's the WWE, WWE wrestling business or not, I, I don't know. I'm going to get this out of the, the lights are in my eyes. But he, in my opinion, and from what he said and how he's acted and how he's performed in the past, he is a, a, a fan of helping the younger talent get to the next level. That's what he did with, uh, oh, what's his name in AEW, the dude who rides a skateboard. Um, yeah, whatever his name is, he helped him out. He helped out several other guys in, in, in the uh, uh, AEW. Now, the idiots at AEW, you know, did him wrong, so to speak, if you ask me. And he knows what he's doing. Uh, he understands the wrestling game, understands the wrestling business. He's the uh, one of the best in-ring performers, one of the best on the microphone. He can do it all. So why the, 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 the big brass at AEW didn't see that is beyond me. Everyone else in the world saw that. And for the guys who says, well, CM Punk is a cancer. No, not, not in the least. Again, he wants to do what's best for the business. And I know it's a cliche. Everyone says he wants to do what's best for the business. But he's also, you know, he wants to better himself at, at the same time. Right, I I don't see why he wouldn't. I mean, who who wouldn't? I would. I mean, do you need to go back to WWE? No, he didn't need to. He didn't. He can be out of the spotlight completely, and he's good to go. I mean, no, no. He in Chicago, he'll always be in the spotlight, of course, because he's a he's a celebrity in Chicago, especially to the, the wrestling fans. I mean, heck, WWE. He was gone for what almost ten years, and look at the reaction he got the other night. Holy. Cow was that fantastic. Um, people criticized the way that WWE did it. They said he overshadowed Randy Orton. Uh, well, hey, I don't think it's overshadowing. Overshadowing? Overshadowing. Why? Because he got himself over a long time ago, and he's kept himself over by doing different things. People love him or people hate him, one or the other. Is he controversial? Depends how you look at it. People are going to say, yes, I don't think he is. I think he's a straight shooter. I'm going to tell you like it is. It's just that simple. 
Now, whether it's a shoot, a work, an act, real life, I don't know. Uh, only, only he can tell you. But it's believable. He makes what he does believable. What he says, he makes it believable, which is the whole point of professional wrestling to begin with. It's what somebody say once it's a suspended belief of reality. Okay, great. I'm for it. <laughs> I'm for it. Now, I've heard CM Punk talk about politics before, at least at least I think it was him, or tweet about it or something like that. Him and I probably don't agree on politics, but so what? And why I threw that in there, I don't know. It just came to mind. I'm just, this is all off the cuff for me right now. Once again, going back to the summer of Punk, uh, he got screwed big time. The whole time he was the uh, the WWE champion, how often did he main event anything? Not very often. He was little, literally on the mid to lower cards. Why is that? He can just perform like anybody else. He can steal the show just like anybody else. He can do the promos probably better than anybody else. Yeah, he should have been main, main eventing quite a bit. I mean, he was a champion for a long time. Um, well, he's white hot for the longest time. And I think what's going to happen now, and this is my speculation uh, wholeheartedly here, you got Punk, you got Roman, and you got Brock. And everybody's saying this. Heyman has the ability to be with all three of them in one in shape, way, shape, any, any way, shape, or form. Also, you then you got to throw Cody into the mix, who has nothing to do with Heyman other than um, uh, Heyman and Cody did some fantastic promos going into this past WrestleMania. So <laughs> I don't know how it's all going to go. Uh, Rollins is is not happy about CM Punk. And again, I don't know if it's a shoot or a work, real life, not real life, doesn't matter. Again, it's a, it's suspended belief of reality. Great. Fantastic. And once they get involved in the ring, I can't see Punk beating Seth, and I can't see Seth beating Punk. Will they have to come head-to-head? -head? Yeah. Well, I think it's going to be them two at WrestleMania. Seth is laying the groundwork for it pretty hot, pretty hot and heavy. I don't think it should be Seth and uh, Punk at WrestleMania. I think Punk should... Um, Get Roman, which which is which is another thing. I don't think Roman deserves to be champion. I mean, well over a thousand days, great. And at the last pay per view, they said he's defended it twenty nine times. Great. You know what? That's average. Average is about once every forty days or so. Now I remember back in the day when you had Flair, you had Hogan, you had all the good guys. They were defending quite a bit, way more than once every forty days. Okay, so. I'm not a big Roman fan. I, I think he's, he, he's, is he strong as a champion? Yeah, but he's extremely weak on defending the championship. The only reason he's getting all these days of being a champion, because he doesn't fight anybody. He doesn't, he's not in the ring against anybody. And if he put that in his contract, so be it, good for him. But I don't agree with how they're, they're doing the bookings, which is another thing. L.A. Knight, what happened all of a sudden? He was white hot and all of a sudden, boom, he's cooled off that quick. Really? Okay. Now, is Punk, Punk going to come in against L.A. Knight? No. Uh, Punk has definitely got to be a, uh, a, a baby face. Definitely got to be a baby face, um, especially in Chicago. Now, other parts of the country, if they start booing him, he can turn heel just like that. And then you got all kinds of possibilities. So we'll see what happens there. But I am tickled that he's going to be WWE. And AEW, you blew it, man. You absolutely blew it. You built a program around punk on the Saturday night. What's it called? Collision or whatever it's called. Uh, colossal setback. Now you really blew it. You absolutely blew it. W WWE. Yeah. Feather in your cap for uh, reaching out and, and doing what it needs to be done. Uh, I would assume it was them to reach out to him first. And then uh, the negotiations were there. So, yeah, I'm a big fan of punk. We'll keep it like that, and I'll stop it here. I think it's a great thing, and I'll do, be doing more of these updates as we go along. Okay, so I'll end it here. But, hey, you know what to do if you're here for the first time. Check it out over there. Buy me a, buy me a drink, your popcorn and whiskey. Check it out, andrewpaletto.com slash drink, and go there and buy me something. Okay? And uh, we'll keep up with the, with, the, with the updates coming soon. So this is Popcorn and Whiskey, if you didn't know. This is my channel. I do all kinds of stuff on here. Check it out and uh, be part of it. Until next time, this is me.
Ciao.